In this video, I am going to talk about Mail Merge and I will demo how to apply it on a document. Mail Merge is the automatic addition of data like names and addresses from a source to letters and envelopes. This is commonly used to quickly produce and send information like newsletters, resume, and brochures to various recipients. The concept here is to create a document that will be combined to another document. Through this, the letter or envelope can be customized for a specific recipient. There are two components in order to achieve the goal of mail merge. The first component is called Word Document. It basically contains the main message and the placeholders. Placeholders are the data fields that will be created in data file. Those data fields will represent the actual stored data. The data file is the second component. This is where the data that needs to be merged to the Word document is placed and maintained. The next part of this video is the demo how to create and use mail merge. Suppose I will create a letter to invite my friends to attend my birthday celebration. I will save this document to desktop and name it with mail merge demo. I will type in the content of the letter. Notice that I put first name, last name, and address. They are temporary terms I used which are to be replaced with placeholders later. I will press Ctrl S to save. This document I just created is what we called Word document. Let's now proceed in creating the second component which is the data file. I will click the mailings tab, then press the select recipients button. This will show three options. I will choose type a new list since I don't have a data file yet. There are predefined columns here already. I will remove and change them by going to the customize columns button. I will select one by one the field names that are not needed and press the delete button. Once done, click the OK button. I will now enter my guest's data. I will click the new entry button to add. Click OK once done. The save dialog box will appear after clicking the OK button. Find the location where you saved the Word document. They should be in the same directory. Therefore, I will save this in desktop and the file name is guests. At this point, I am now ready to merge the data file to this Word document. I will highlight this text, which is to be replaced by a placeholder. After that, I will go to the Insert Merge Field button. Notice that the field names of the data file are already here. I will choose First Name. Look at the text that now appears on the document. It has left angle bracket and right angle bracket symbols that identify a placeholder. I will replace the next temporary word with the correct placeholder, which is Last Name. I will do the same steps for the remaining placeholders. Once we completed the merging, we can preview the output by clicking the Preview Results button. I can move to the Next and Previews by pressing the appropriate buttons here. Once finished reviewing, I can press the Finish and Merge button to edit individual documents, print documents, and send email messages. I hope this video helped you in understanding the mail merge feature of document processing software. If you think this video is helpful, please like and share this to your friends. Please consider subscribing to my channel too. Thank you for your support.